Well, what did you know? I'm still finding problems with this terrible anime. This time it's about not being realistic. And before some of you jump up and start yelling how it's an anime, of course it's not real, let me explain the situation. Someone was asking why doesn't Deku suffer from PTSD after going through so many terrible events in less than a year. It's a legit question. He's a crybaby who has a dozen soul-crushing things happening at him at once. The answer is, of course, because it's horribly written. Horikoshi does a brilliant job. And yes, you can excuse every single problem it has as My Hero Academia being a generic shonen, therefore it's meant to be naive, superficial, full of plot holes and character inconsistencies. But there are two problems with that claim. First of all, My Hero Academia was not promoted as a generic shonen. It was promoted as the new gold standard for shonen anime, doing things better than any other shonen out there such as having a main character who cries, which has never been done before, and a dynamic female character, which also hasn't been done before, and turns out she's as useless as most females in Shonen. Horikoshi does a brilliant job. You can justify all that as saying they were just overselling the show as more than a generic Shonen when it's nothing more than that. But there is another problem. The core concept of My Hero Academia is all about taking place in a setting that is like ours. A world that has a similar social problems and is populated with people who are like average citizens of contemporary societies. They have to behave more down to earth because they were conceived to be normal people. It's not like One Piece, which is a fantasy setting with ridiculous characters and a protagonist who is mentally challenged. Therefore, when they don't behave like a supposed normal person of today would, the immersion breaks much easier than it would in any other fictional setting. Therefore, it is a problem when Deku or anyone else doesn't have PTSD because of the crap they are constantly going through. Horikoshi does a brilliant job. And yes, I am literally saying Deku should be crying and suffering a lot more than he already is. If he was so devastated in the first episodes and was shedding rivers of tears over not getting into the academy, then he should be doing something ten times more extreme every time the villains are doing something. It sounds like overkill, but that is how he was written to be, and yet he is not. And that is why My Hero Academia is shit for yet another reason. Horikoshi does a brilliant job.